Hi guys, it's October here, your first day's hostess for witchcrafting. Um, I'm just going to show you what you're going to need before I show you the overall finished thing that I've done. Um, this is actually a sort of a spiritual stroke Halloween picture. Now, uh, crows and ravens uh, represent something specific for me because of my path and there probably are other people that link in with crows and ravens in a dif different way also uh, not necessarily the same path as me but um, connect with um, raven and crow energies in possibly different ways um, but it's also a nice um, addition the overall feel of it um, to use um, as Maybe something to put above um, your altar or um, <clears throat> to have somewhere around your sacred space um, on the spiritual side. On a non-spiritual side, you can use a similar idea for Halloween. Um, you can use whatever picture resonates with you and do the same idea but obviously with your interpretation of it with your particular picture your little spin on it, your little bits and bobs that you want to add to it to make it your own. So, um, before I start, I will tell you what you're going to need. You're going to need uh, tissue paper, colour of choice is up to you. You're going to need a frame. I had a frame in the house that I've recycled, or upcycled. Um, it was a black frame, and the, <clears throat> the inside rim closest to the glass was like a goldy brass colour which I don't like so I have coloured that black so it looks kind of like blacky antique sort of colour um, <clears throat> but you don't have to do that or you can do it in a different colour if you want and um, so what you're going to need is those things now basically um, when you get a cheap frame or any type of frame usually you get <clears throat> uh, the ones that don't have pictures in as well, uh, the little inlay bit inside, um, which has normally got a picture on it. In this case, my one had like that picture on it. Um, so basically, all I did was it was turned the other way around, cut with a craft knife to take remove this part um, to leave the bit in the middle. So when you put your picture. On and then you put that bit over the top then it frames your actual image so you're going to need that you're going to need if you do exactly the same with me with the finish I'm going to show you you may need something like this or even tape if you want to tie off the bits at the back or secure the bits at the back you're also going to need again this is um, personal preference or choice you don't have to put the charm on it but I chose to put the charm on it because I kind of like them um, so just like any type of charm so I've chosen the charm I've used in this is my oops crow I'm not sure if it's a crow or a raven, scully dude. Um, so I've used this one on mine, but you can use any one you like. Again, depending on the image you use, whether it's something that you're going to use in your uh, spiritual path, or whether it's just going to be a decoration for the time of year. Um, last Halloween, sorry, uh, I bought... I waited till after uh, Halloween actually and I went into Wilco's and I got loads of stuff like reduced to next to nothing and one of the things I got were these candle bags and normally you open them So that they are like this. Uh, 
like an actual proper bag and pop your candle in what I bought them because I didn't know what I was going to use them for at the time and you probably wasn't use, going to use them for candle bags but uh, I liked the image so I thought I could incorporate it into my path which I have done with various other projects. So this particular one I've cut him out just to show you more fully the image. But I've basically in this bag I left it double like that thickness and all I did was at the bottom where this line is I basically cut right along there just to leave a double thickness piece of paper with the image on. Uh, so I will show you the overall finished product and then explain how to get the overall finished look. Okay, this is the overall finished look. So I will try and show you. That's the charm there. So, um, as you can see, um, it is the picture frame I spoke about. Um, I've, I actually, the tissue paper that I used, um, I ripped it so it gave that more of a rough cut out image as opposed to it being like square, rectangular, framing the actual image in the middle. Uh, so um, I'll zoom up a bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Right. You look there, you can see how it's been ripped all the way around and I have basically took my, I have basically taken um, the frame apart, then I have taken the sort of bit of paper that you get in the inlay, <clears throat> I have then stuck the cut out double image of a um, where is he? I can't find the camera. Um, the image of um, him uh, on the back paper and then put, stuck the whole thing to the backboard. Then I took Again, you can do this the way you want, the colours you want, the overall style you want. This is just some, my preference. I used um, black tissue paper. Same effect as I did before. Put some on the back or on the paper till you get um, it so it'll stick down. And then rip bits off and stick it down with this deco patch glossy glue. So basically I I did that all the way round ripping and sticking pieces of tissue paper all the way round. But like I say ripping it for example up this area ripping it so that it was more a ragged, rustic-y overall feel. Um, then went over the whole lot with the deco patch glue and let it dry and I did two coats but left it so you can in little spots see the odd little tiny bit of white bleeding through a tiny bit, not a lot, just to give it a distressed feel. <clears throat> Then I took, um, like I say, put the whole lot with the deco patch glue apart from in the middle. I never, I never, um, I never, this bit here where the picture is, I never covered that with the deco patch glue. But all the way around right to the very edges 
all the way around, all the way around. Let that dry. Then once it was dry, I don't think I've got a spare bit to show you, but I'll have a quick look. I don't think it is. I don't know if you remember now. Mm. Nope, I think I must have used the last bit. Yeah, I think I used the last bit. Yeah. Basically, the same as the candle I did with this like spider web effect, it's exactly the same uh, effect which is the, it's an old piece of fishnet stockings or tights, the leg bit which I have cut off and then stretched over the, over the, um, I've stretched over the whole, um, backboard over the whole backboard and over the whole picture and what I've done is I have like ripped and teared and stretched and knotted uh, the actual fishnet as I was doing it. Um, once it was um, all over the picture itself I then took small scissors and cut little bits like, again I'll zoom up a bit so you can see, uh, I cut little bits so for example these areas here at the top like a ripped uh, cut with the scissors to make the holes, same with here, same with down here and then put it all taut so that it was at the back and because it's um, a bit of stocking or tights basically you're going to have loose bits at the back so you can tackle that however you prefer I basically tied off um, the bits at the back cutting and tying cutting and tying um, securing with small pieces of this but you can use um, you know um, tape you can use glue but I find that it is better to use the tie method or the or the tape method because you want to make sure that it's quite taut and secure to give that proper stretched feel um, so basically that is the overall effect and like I say I used, where is it, I got this red thread and black thread, exactly the same sewn thread, um, two pieces off, um, pulled them together, and, uh, sort of kind of went like that together with them and then uh, I tied I put the charm on first uh, the little cross gully dude here so I put him on first and then I did um, a knot at the bottom and then one, two knots up above like spaced out and I basically just, um, the little bits you have to keep the um, frame together at the back, the little metal clip bits, I actually just, the top left hand side, the, this side, um, I actually tied it off, wrapped it, tied it, wrapped it, tied it, wrapped it, tied it, so it hung over the top of the picture. Um, I also, like I said, the original frame was kind of brassy coloured, gold coloured around that, which I don't really care for. So I actually just used one of these. Which is a permanent marker. In black. And basically just went all the way 
around down and along and just coloured in the bit that was gold so it's kind of gone a black stroke really antique metal colour so that is the overall um, finished article I'll put a couple of pictures at the end of this video to give you a clearer proper close up look at the different aspects of it and I hope you guys enjoyed. Lots of love and blessed be and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye!